Sir, you are from Kerala. Yes, sir. Very. You come here for an interview. Yes, sir, I work in Chennai. You are working here? Yes. What are you working as? Haryana, right? No, uh, I was in training in Haryana. I was, oh, I'm recently posted as assistant registrar of companies, Chennai. You are the assistant registrar of co companies in Chennai? Yes, sir. Ah, that's an important job. Uh, how long have you been working? Yeah, uh, since last September. Last September? Yes, sir. Civil service is clear. Yes, sir. Civil service is clear. Yes, sir. Corporate loss service. Yes, corporate loss service. Oh, you have come for civil service? No, he has cleared and he is working. He is working. Yeah, he is working. He is working. He is working. Yes. Why are you again? I want to become a yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Arjun, why should we register companies in India? For uh, every company to operate, there should be some. Uh, we have the Companies Act. So, uh, in order to. Because it is legally required. Yes. Otherwise, it do not require. For any. Uh, organization to function is better to register so that the government will have a idea as to oh, what is going on. It is for the government to know. It's for the government as well as the uh, since companies involve public money also. What is this concept of going concern? I cannot recollect it, sir, right now. Okay. 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 You have been in forest areas. Yes. Tell us something, what, some reason as to why we should conserve forests. Basically, our there is so much of pressure on land, we can, why don't we simply take up all this land? Why do we want to conserve forests? The environmental balance is primarily dependent upon the health of forest in an area. Suppose uh, the forest uh, is lost. It will result in the extinction of species and uh, ultimately. Species. Extinction of species. Yes, it will ultimately uh, lead to the destruction of the entire ecosystem. So, forests uh, are required to maintain the uh, basic life in any area. Okay, okay. So, have you been to forests? Yes, sir, I have. Been. Which forests? Near to our. Uh, my hometown there is Nilambur forest. Nilambur? Uh, yes. Nilambur. What kind of a forest is it? It mainly consists of uh, temper wet temperate, wet, wet tropical wet forest. Okay. What kind of species, what kind of animals do there, are there? Mostly, forest. mostly elephants are present and… Uh, mostly? Elephants. Elephants. Nilambur forest. And. Uh, Common species are like deers and uh, other smaller species are also present. Okay, okay. So, what is your hobby? My hobby is playing chess and cricket. Chess? And cricket. Cricket. Cricket? Yes. You played for uh, Kerala? No, sir. Ah. It's a casual, casually. You play, at what level do you play? Like, uh, I was not a part of any team. Okay. Play, play in the neighborhood. Just for the fun of it. Yes, play in the neighborhood only. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Tell me what is a partnership? Oh. Partnership is uh, when uh, one, or, one or more persons come together and uh, form a, uh, a form a firm in which, uh, which regulations are less than the actual companies. Do you have to be registered to be a partnership firm with the registrar of companies? Pardon me, sir? Do you have to register the firm with the registrar of companies if it is a partnership firm? Uh, I have to look into it. Sir. Sorry? Uh, I am not sure, sir. Not sure about that. So, what are the conditions that you, a company has to comply with if it, if, if it is registered as a public limited company with the registrar of companies? Public limited. If you are registered as a public limited company, what are the conditions to be complete? Like, uh, in the sense, 
if if my company is registered as a public limited company what should be criteria that i have to follow do every year otherwise my registration will be cancelled what are like uh, independent uh, directors we have to appoint which uh, should be one third should be independent directors and uh, if the uh, uh, if the annual turnout is more than a certain amount, you have to uh, pro comply with the CSR provisions. What is the difference between audit and account servers and corporate losses? You are an ICI. Right? Yes. What is the difference between the two services? Audit mainly <coughs> concerned with the work of CAG and auditing the uh, various departments of the government. That, that is understood, understandable. But why is that you prefer audit over corporate losses? You want to become an IAS officer, right? You could have just put one as zero, but why specifically audit and accounts over corporate? Sir, actually, I'm not uh, decided as to whether to join an audit and account or not. Sorry? Uh, I just kept the options only, not decided as to whether to join or not. Okay. Whether I'll join. So you're not, you, you don't know about the job profile, uh, you're not even clear whether you want that job or not, but you have just given preference. Yes, I've just preferred only. Okay. okay. So, what is the reason why Tamil Nadu produces a lot of grandmaster chess? Uh, traditionally, we have uh, in Tamil Nadu there is a uh, tradition of uh, chess mainly because of the presence of Anand, Vishwanathan Anand. Mm -hmm. He has been able to uh, attract many youth into the sport. And uh, most, uh, if we look at the uh, grandmasters, uh, around more than 30 percent are from Tamil Nadu. From who are grandmasters in India? I know that, but I'm asking about the reason for it. Uh, right now, I can recollect is uh, uh, the presence of Vishwanathan Anand and the impact it, it has created on the youth. Okay. So, what what is the reason apart from uh, Kerala? Is actually very uh, there is a huge football base in Kerala. Right? Yes. So, what can be the reason for that? Such a popular popularity for football in Kerala compared to cricket, but you don't play football. Uh, yes, I used to play, but uh, oh, since I am having the specs, there is an issue for playing football. Okay. So, tell me what is the reason why football has become so popular and widespread in Kerala? The seven tournaments which are popular in Kerala, every rural part of the Kerala is uh, the main reason behind it. The Many people are attracted towards this uh, seven football and they carry it as a passion. Why? Why is the best? It has been, uh, they have been carrying it long for them. Okay. So, your optional, so your graduation is in applied electronics. Yes. Right. Can you see electronics? Don't know, sir. Don't know. Don't know whether you we can cannot, see. We uh, cannot, naked eye, we cannot see. So, with microscope, you can see. I'm not, I have to. I don't, I'm not sure, sir. Where is Nilampur exactly? Local location? It is in the Malapuram district. Huh? It, Malapuram district. How far it is from the sea? Around uh, 60 to 70 kilometers. There is railway station in Nilampur? Yes, sir. Why? Primarily, it was constructed by the Britishers yes. to take away the teak wood from the England. place. That is why you have a realist. Because teak is very famous. British people want teak for their houses. It's a poor country. So teak is very famous. Land yes. teaks are very famous. Okay, okay. You have taken geography optional. Yes. Recently there was an opinion that Europe is sitting on another uh, continent. Are you aware of that opinion and the evidences that they have given? Europe is sitting on another continent. That continent is below Europe. <coughs> and like you wear a hat and you wear a sweater. Okay. And that sweater, there are some creatures here. That creature is Alps. Most papers wrote about it. Are you aware of this? No, sir, I didn't come across. Okay. Randomized control trial. Have you heard of this? No, sir. A randomized control trial. 
the Indian got Nobel Prize in economics for that. You have not heard about it? Mr. Banerjee. Or... Abhishek Banerjee. Mr. Banerjee. He got Nobel Prize on this theory and this was around for one month. So many activists came in all the newspapers. Okay, you have, you have missed it. Randomized control trial. I have read about Abhijit, Abhijit I have uh, heard about Abhijit Banerjee, but this particular term I did not see. But this, this is the field in which he got. Okay, take it. What is happening to Jammu and Kashmir? Uh, the status of the state has been revoked and uh, uh, union territory has been formed. Even two Some, union territories have been formed. And Ladakh and Jammu huh? Kashmir. Ladakh and Jammu and Kashmir union territories have been Ladakh formed. Ladakh and Jammu and Kashmir. Ladakh includes what and what? The Lay Le and Kargil tumblets. Gilgit Baltistan? Yes, sir. Pak occupied Kashmir. That is also Indian territory. Yes. Okay, but also that is Indian territory. Yes. Sir. I use the word also, that is Indian territory. Yes. So Pak occupied Kashmir consists of what? Which places? Gilgit Baltistan. Gilgit Baltistan and two other places, two other divisions. What are they? Not able to recall. Jafarabad and Mirpur. These are the two divisions of their within Pak Yes. Now, this uh, state subject rule, there is something called a state subject rule, is permanent residency of Jammu and Kashmir. Pakistan has kept it or revoked it? <coughs> For the Pak, Pak occupied Kashmir. For Pak, Pakistan portion, we just now revoked it only in August 5th. What has Pakistan done with that? I think Pakistan has done it before. Pakistan has revoked it in 1974. Yes. But now when we are doing it, Pakistan is shouting, isn't it? What is that permanent residency law? Oh, those who are from outside Kashmir cannot uh, buy property yes. in Kashmir. And? What is that? They cannot buy property? And if they marry outside... Can they inherit property? That I'm not sure. Uh, okay. What are the other benefits of a permanent resident of Kashmir? So regarding property, sir. What are the other, other benefits of being a permanent resident? Because that was the bone of contention. The other benefits are government scholarships and jobs. Only locals can get it, permanent residents can do it, or outsiders cannot get it. Third is they can take part in local election and assembly election. Outsiders cannot take part. There are major benefits. Okay, so that, that was the benefit. Where was this uh, law actually it, um, uh, announced? The permanent residency law, when was it announced? I don't know. It is as old as 1927 by, by Maharaj Harishi. But again, shift, again, changed, amended from time to time. 1931, first amendment, then it has come down. That is the major thing that they have to do. And Pakistan has already revoked it since 1974. And now, the Sunni population is now in minority there. Sorry, Shia population. Sunnis have come from other parts. They have all resided there and they taken. Um, and properties, etc. So they have changed the demographic character of Pak occupied Kashmir. But India is, as a gentle country, India is still sticking to the old law. Okay, take it. Um, where is the uh, literature festival of Kerala every year held? You are asking the place? Yeah. It's a news every year for either for controversy or for the year. It was held in Calicut. And uh, recently which news or which discussion was a highlight of this literature festival? One particular aspect. One particular topic was of huge discussion. It about the CIM. Mm -hmm. And uh, who made a statement which was against the Kerala government's uh, governor, honorable no. governor. 
uh, no it was with regards to your yeah, governor is usually giving the statement against the uh, uh, ruling uh, party but i am telling uh, asking about the uh, uh, whatever was his uh, court case which the kerala government had filed against the caa and the caa uh, 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 they told that it will not be implemented in their state right so based on that it was told that they can't follow it and they have to follow the central government norms so which particular leader announced it in the literature festival i'm not able to recollect okay um based on the uh, un's population data uh, malappuram is ranking on top in one of the uh, discussions why is it so globally malappuram is ranking on top is it about the growing urbanization mm -hmm. so can you elaborate about it uh, one reason could be the yeah you are right you are right that it's about urbanization can you one reason could be the low uh, low base uh, means urbanization has been uh, not that much in the uh, previously mm -hmm. in malappuram and now the uh, town is getting expanded so so the fast growth of the fast urbanization growth compared to the previous uh, base maybe one of the reasons it's the only reason it's the only reason where it has been told that it's ranking on top right now as for the population data where the urban acclimatization has been top yes. which are the other two places none of the uh, other indian cities are in the list top 10 so there are other two which are those from kerala one is thrissur <laughs> and third one i cannot recollect no it's not thrissur it's neighbors to your place koji kod and uh, kollam okay thank you it's in 4th and 10th rank have you uh, heard of this global reporting initiative no, which the uh, corporates are no ma'am no what is csr mean corporate social responsibility social responsibility yes there is one more csr corporate sustainable reporting you are not aware no who was the uh, cricketer who has been awarded with a uh, padma shri recently he has been in news he has been announced with the padma shri award Can't recall it. See, you, Arjun, yes. interesting thing is that you are an highly uh, well qualified man. You you had your bachelor's in English. Then you attempted to move to civil services, and you got a corporate law service. In between, you attempted your Indian Forest Service also. Again, you are attempting uh, Indian uh, Administrative Service or uh, Civil Service. Why this? Uh, i mean uh, pendulum moving from one one place to actually what do you want to become in life aim this is, this, this looks as an inconsistent my aim was to become ias officer that's only aim. yes that's the main between aim. that i appeared for forest indian forest service why did you appear for forest service because this year you can at least have a chance of getting a ias but if forest service is a dedicated uh, service examination I've, uh, i've heard that uh, I'm, when in disc on discussions i've also heard that uh, the all being an all india service ifs is also mm. a good service so i appeared for ifs also so but your main aim is uh, administrative service yes. okay, you are from kerala suppose the remittances from gulf yes. if not fully stopped at least 50% or stop what will happen to kerala's economy Kerala is mainly a remittance-based economy. That's what I'm asking. And uh, I'm not even asking complete uh, stoppage of remittances. Uh, uh, in a hypothetical situation, uh, at least 50 percent has stopped. People's income uh, income will come down drastically, hmm. and it will result in the uh, like we have at present we have educational and health achievements. Hmm. There is a chance that it may be rolled back hmm. at least. To what extent? Uh, will it have a cascading effect, or it will disturb? 
it will disturb initially but i think we have the potential even if it reduces other areas we may concentrate and what are the revise other areas from where you will manage your finances because in social indicators kerala is number even as per the latest niti ayog report that is health and education but if these remittances uh, i mean got affected or dented rather uh, how will you maintain this trend and you are saying that you will manage it from other sources can you name a couple of other sources we have to uh, diversify find out areas in sectors in no, you said that we have got other sources now you are saying find out like we have the potential we have the potential we have to uh, venture into those areas where we have the, the potential areas. Are the few areas like uh, recently we are sta- uh, we are plan to start uh, uh, this sil- manufacturing of electronic products Hmm. manufacturing facilities have been proposed similarly we have there is only in proposal stage nascent stage my question is suppose you look at it in another 3 months time from now it's an hypothetical another 3 to 4 months time from now uh, there is a dent in uh, remittances from gulf to your state say for example 40% so what impact it will have on the your state's economy immediately it will result in the uh, people's income will drastically reduce and we have to focus on areas like uh, seafood export we have a long cost line tourism has to be more uh, promoted mm. like that we will get yet to be done yes so in that sense can you say that you are depending solely at a large extent only on gulf remittances right now the situation is like that okay in in terms of this fdi index where kerala stands compare with other states gujarat maharashtra karnataka tamil nadu where your state stands as far as fdi is concerned there is a uh, situation where industries are not being uh, industries are not flourishing in the state this or not flourishing new industries are la- uh, feeling hesitant to come not into showing the much interest interest into the state what's the reason for it is a militant trade unionism one of the reasons for it Uh, unfortunately yes sir that is one of the reasons we have some other reasons also like land availability is a major concern yeah, so land lock uh, fixed uh, land over. fixed land and we have uh, one side we have the western ghats and coastal areas so the we cannot convert the land use due to the economic uh, environmentally fragile nature and the density of population is also very high and acquisition is a major problem that is another reason So in this situation, can we say that to a certain extent we are sitting on a powder keg? Pardon me, sir. Powder keg. We are sitting on a milk keg. Suppose if remittances come down, no FDI, what will happen? But uh, sir, we have a uh, human capital and uh, educated youth, and But even if remittances without, without currencies, you are even if remittances educated youth can't do anything. Uh, i feel that even if remittances from one part of the world reduces it, uh, it will we'll be able to find out other opportunities in other countries uh, primarily now we have remittances more coming from gulf region so we have to diversify to other countries thank you finally yes <coughs> what is your stand on this sabarimala issue my stand is that women should be allowed into sabarimala You want a judgment which has gone to the nine nine member bench or what? Very simple answer. <laughs> yes, sir. It has been. But that will uh, not many people will welcome it. Yeah, I am. I am sure in in Kerala, not many people welcome. There is a uh, people see it as a pa- uh, part of their belief and are emotionally attached the to it. The deepness of your that temple will go. People will not come there. It will become just like any other temple. It will not even as good as Guru Ayyappa. sir i uh, as far as women are concerned it is their personal choice as to go or not if they believe in the particular form of that deity they may choose not to go the, the, the deity doesn't believe in the woman <laughs> it's a misogynist god that is the problem but whenever that uh, traditions are against the <coughs> principles laid out in the constitution i think they have there are people change. who just follow traditions conservatism is a major issue isn't it in the UK 
they will, what they have is a major uh, uh, objective they have. Sir, I think it is up to the women to not to go or not to go, but as far, uh, there should be always a. Hinduism has got a million, to go. Hindu, Hinduism got a million gods. Yes. 33 million gods. And go and worship somewhere else. Why only go to this place? <coughs> if they want to go, we should not prevent them from going. That's my. What is your view? That is all fine. What is your view? My view is that it should, they should be allowed to go. should be allowed to go. Okay. Why? The. Prevent, uh, right now the discrimination is based on a particular age that is 10 to 50 and it, it is it goes against equality. But Supreme Court has actually differentiated between essential religious practice and non-essential religious practices. Yes. So this is an essential religious practice that has been going on for centuries. This is how it has evolved, right? But court, uh, court, uh, court has again said that they will reconsider whether it, which all falls under essential practices. Sir. But Muslim women are not allowed inside masks and dargahs, then why are you keeping quiet? If they want, they should be also allowed. <laughs> Bombay High Court gave it to that. Yes, sir. Go. But are they allowed? Who are the against that? Verify it. The Muslim person is allowed to allow it. I think that it should also go. That okay, thank you, Arjun. Thank you, Arjun. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How much will it last interview? I think we can finish off here itself. Yeah. 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 What does it score last interview? Questless. 120. Okay. 120, huh? So, do you look, uh, understand where you are actually weak? In? You are weak with, your, with respect to your dad. With respect to what is your work experience. You say you are in corporate law, sir. Then you should not be actually missing out on partnership for public limited company. Those are the areas where you should be actually very clear on. Since you are working in the government, it, it actually reflects bad about the mm. government. <coughs> that we have such a poor quality of workforce. That is the kind of impression that people tend to get. Right? And you, since you have preferred other services also, you should have a clear justification. Why audit and accounts over corporate law? Why not just stick with corporate law service? You should have that justification. Otherwise, if you are not convinced, then how will you go and convince the board? I think we also had that point. Yeah. You, well, you are a little confused. Ah. What you are. There, are, there are people waiting. Yes. Why are you wanting to move. Yeah. And at the same time, respect to electronics also, I think basic levels, this is a very basic question. Can you see electrons or not? Electron is a part of atomic theory. It's all in the imagination. There is nobody who has actually ever seen an electron in life. Okay. So I think those areas and all, this is just the surface of whatever is there in your dad. I think uh, unless you are clear with whatever is the, there in your dad, you cannot actually afford to go there at all. Current affairs, if you are not aware, you can al always say that, sorry sir, I am not aware. But here, I expect a lot of uh, positive answers from you. So, you get an Indian getting will say, mm -hmm. you have this team. I am sorry, I am not able to hear. RCT, uh, you must be aware. Prize. Indian getting a home. Ah, he has this team. Well, has Sutati got Nobel Prize on what? For what? First work on uh, huh? rehabilitation of children. Rehabilitation of children. Yes, that you know. Yes. Okay, but this one, that is here. That you have wished. We will also show you his thorough because soon, some, after the uh, 5th of August, the whole month of August and September, every newspaper has given 20-25 letters from that. You should be thorough at that. Okay, this uh, Citizen's Government Act, NPR. These things are they are all going on now. We will follow them. At least the best things must be thorough. Ajun, sit a little more. Ah, be a little more positive. Ah, I think you are okay. I, I have no great problems with it. But as he said, some fundamentals you brush up. You can talk a little more. Uh, you defend yourself that why you are giving up the present one and yeah, preferring to go there. Already you are in service. Huh. Yeah, you should be very clear. So, so, so. Say. Mm. But the ex that. expectation from you would be higher. Mm. Yeah. Okay. As a registrar of companies, when you ask why you register a company, you should say it should have a personality. It is basically looked upon as an entity. It can sue. It, it, is, a, it is a person in the eye of law. It's an ongoing concern. I was trying to give person you a hint. Eye of law. So it's a person in the eye of law. And to give it legitimacy, you have to respect. Okay. I think. 
some fundamental things you will have to work on huh? and be a little more uh, open and football i think uh, you should have said most of the hill states are you know they they, they love football i think it's a tradition we have, uh, we have inherited and it is going on like you see meghalaya north east north east hill states they are all very happy with uh, football so each place as it goa beach of course maybe it's a combination of beach and hills that uh, that, <laughs> that you know promotes uh, football so it can be a little more uh, but otherwise i think you're quite pleasant and you will have to be a little more audible yes little relax okay i think you've done all the best anything else all the best thank you all the best to you thank you